to an edition of the Stranglehold Podcast. I have my co-host here, Chris Paradise, owner and operator of Paradise Customs. And let me tell you what, man. Pleasure to have you on board. Absolutely, man. The honor's mine. So, so tell us, uh, what got you to professional wrestling? Alright, so um, the love of belts was the main thing. Um, other than that, it was just something I grew up watching. I always wanted to be a part of it. And since I met you, I kind of just... I'm not going to say that I bit hook, line, and sinker. It was more like you threw some bait out there, and then I was like, well, might as well. So it was like it was like a shark coming out of the ocean. That little bitty hook. And let, let, me, let me add this, folks. This is the designer and creator of the Stranglehold World Heavyweight Championship belt. And I, I tell you what, that's a jewel all in its own right. I love that belt. So, I, so I've got we've got custom cane big gold here that we uh, took over to uh, Jerry Lawler's 50th anniversary uh, where Kane was there. And I'll tell you what, this is my second favorite belt we've ever made for obvious reasons. Can we show the signature? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, All right. So I'm not gonna mess her up here, but I'll turn it around so you guys can see that uh, the big red machine himself, uh, you know, christened it for us. All right. Man, I wish you could have been there. You would have had a blast. I wish I could have made it too, but unfortunately I work a lot. <laughs> and that's, that's part okay. of the business, man. That's okay. You know, uh, this man right here is extraordinary what he does. Uh, glad to have you as my new co-host. Uh, I know some people have brought some, some recent events. Uh, just to let you guys know, the movie is still on, yet albeit a different title, a different script, but the movie is still a go. And the original cast of Stranglehold Entertainment, personally recruited, um, is still in place. Uh, new director's been hired. Chantel, good to see you. Um, it's going to be great. Uh, filming, of course, will remain scheduled for June, right after Momocon 2021. Which, we're going to be there in all of our glory. And we're going to be representing it the way the Stranglehold does. And uh, also another tidbit that's going to be added to our schedule for next year. Uh, we're doing a celebrity golf tournament with Jeff Foxworth. Just badass, man. You might be a redneck if you play, you play golf with Jeff Foxworthy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to tell you guys, I'm a perfectionist. Everything I do, I try to put a creative touch on. And partnering up that's with this guy and this movie that's going to come up, you guys can expect perfection. Yes, I agree. And it'll be, it'll be a movie made in paradise. In Absolutely. So, so yeah, just look for uh, look for this. Uh, that'll be aired every Friday around lunchtime. Uh, we're looking forward to getting this done. I know uh, today, in particular, since we're uh, we're pre-filming, this is uh, not necessarily going to be a live feed on Friday. Uh, today is election day in this country, so we're uh, regardless of who you vote for, let's uh, let's try to keep it civil, folks. Uh, let's remember at the end of the day, regardless of Republican, Democrat. Trump, Biden, whoever, at the end of the day, we're all still Americans, and we need to remind ourselves that at the end of the day, we need to stand together as one. Because a great man once said, united we stand, divided we fall. I think it was Roger Waters. No. <laughs> our, cameraman. <laughs> our cameraman. Our cameraman has got a heck of a sense of humor, folks. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, uh, just, I work in Atlanta, and I was down there all day today. And I cannot tell you the amount of businesses that were boarded up. Yeah, like there's I saw glass. That. Any piece of glass down there was covered by a two by four, embracing a piece of plywood. Oh I mean, yeah, we're talking about three quarter inch decking plywood. Th this it's crazy right now with with what the world expects to happen tonight. No matter which one wins. Right. And like you said, divided we fall. This right. is a nation that has to come together. Yes, we do. Doesn't matter. Race, color, it doesn't matter. Creed, religion, I mean, we, sexual preference, whatever whatever the thing is that divides us in categories. We need to remind ourselves, at the end of the day, we are all Americans. And we all bleed red. Yes, and that's and the facts. It, it's too much going on right now for, for the being a division in this country. Sincerely. And this has been a rough year. Um, one of the things uh, I do want to reiterate, we are going to dedicate this feature film coming up to... Uh, Joe Laurinaitis, a.k.a. or best known as Road War Animal. Um, losing him, for me personally, was like losing a family member. 
Um, I can't say enough about that. Then of course, not long after we lose Tracy Smothers, it's been a rough year. Um, Rocky Johnson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rocky Johnson. How I just saw that Sean Connery passed away. Yeah, rough. I mean, 2020 has been a nightmare for for a lot of celebrities Come in on. the wrestling world, outside of the wrestling world. Not and to just mention. people in general, huh? Absolutely. We're, we're, we've seen we've seen things on a biblical scale. Not to get too religious, or you know, because again, I'm just using that as an example. But all I can say is. We have to stick together and be as one. No matter the outcome tonight, there's too much division, too much fighting that needs to stop. Uh, so that's why next year we've got all kinds of great stuff with MoCon 2021. Really looking forward to that. Uh, the uh, golf tournament with Jeff Foxworthy, you know, to the Body Slam Hunger. All proceeds from the golf tournament will go to feed feed the homeless. Not to mention. Uh, you know, the person who wins the tournament um, wins a brand new Toyota, so you can't go wrong there. Uh, just good, positive vibes, because like I said, I'm ready for 2020, 2020 to be over with in 2021 to, you know, come out on a good note. So that's why we're making these big plans. Um, we may uh, we may work on more than one film next year, but right now we know for sure we're going to have a nice full feature film starting in June of 20, 2021 filming. So all good things, all good vibes. From here on out, that's what I want to want to be. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, man. Uh, I'm a very positive person. I, I hate negativity in my that's life. That's right. Uh, negativity is a lot like the vision. The more, the more negativity you get, the more it divides your spirit and your soul. And you know, when you're all one and you're all together, it just makes things a lot better. Positivity is the way to go. Okay. It, real quick, I want to jump back to you. He mentioned Rocky Johnson earlier. Are you keeping up with WWE right now? So, yes. All right, so the biggest storyline in all of professional wrestling right now is Roman Reigns becoming the High Chief. Now, you, you're you very familiar with the High Chief. With, Peter, with Peter his, Mavia and Rocky Johnson. Johnson yeah. All right, so... That being said, do you think it's leading up to The Rock coming back to Mania to go against oh, absolutely, the absolutely. I, uh, I see a uh, quite, quite an extraordinary happening at next year's WrestleMania. And with all the positive vibes going into 2021, I hope we can go back to business as usual. We can run our live shows again. We can have a WrestleMania with a full crowd. Absolutely, man. Because, I mean, no matter where you are in this business, where you're, you know, a uh, any promotion like ourselves at Stranglehold Championship Wrestling, or whether you're, you know, or whether you are WWE, the biggest granddaddy event of them all is WrestleMania. And that's and that's the time that we normally all come together, especially in our business. Um, so hopefully we see some amazing things happen. I know I'm planning to unveil some amazing things well excuse me we we are planning some amazing things for 2021 you're going to see uh we're going to see some new belts yes we are <laughs> we're going to crown some new champions uh or we might uh let some folks retain the belt when we do and more lead i know you're watching i know that you're out there trying to recruit new members you're out there on a bad political campaign you're trying to cash in on this virus that's got straight old championship wrestling at a weak point. We're down, but we're not out, number one. Number two, I'm always one step ahead, and I got a few surprises for you of my own. So, once we release these new shiny belts for our, our title divisions, we hope that whoever you agree to come to your sordid cause is ready for what they're about to receive. Because I don't think it'll be championship gold. But I think it'll be the beating of your life. But enough about that. We'll take care of that business when that time rolls around. So, so, so tell me about VOH. Alright, so VOH is um, it's presented by the Wrestling Boiler Room. One of the hottest Facebook pages on Facebook whatsoever. 
Lots of wrestling content. Proud um, to say I'm a member. Absolutely. It's, it's an awesome page, guys. I'm not saying that because I'm the, I'm the, the one that runs it. I'm saying it because it is sincerely awesome. Absolutely. Good, positive, positive vibes. Now, you get in there. Just the other day, we saw plenty of pictures of Paige looking as, as good as she's ever looked. Mm -hmm. um, just last night, I posted this really cool thing. It was uh, Mickey James, and I don't remember who, who she was. It was... Was it Rhonda? What a bit. I, I don't remember who it was, but anyways, it was an awesome little picture there, and phenomenal, phenomenal page. But anyways, VOH is the voice of honor. It's a promo lead. It's for people like me who's always wanted to live a dream, but can never actually have the physical ability to get into the ring. Um, I did the backyard wrestling when I was younger. I did it for probably five years. I took one too many bumps that I shouldn't have took. I messed my back up. Um, so I wanted to live a dream. Facebook had this thing called uh, E-Feds. I never heard of it in my life, but turns out I'm pretty good at cutting promos. So I wanted to bring other people along, and we have some beautiful belts. Agreed. Um, one person win it, we mail it to you. You lose it, you mail it to someone else. There's probably 30 members in the Voice of Honor. Never met each other in real life. Just on Facebook. But you're but, tight. Absolutely. And uh, recently I was here to present uh, my partner here some, uh, some autograph swag for Paradise Studios here. And uh, I made sure to present it in front of all his uh, VOH counterparts. And it was fun to be part of that presentation, part of that event. And like I said, you know, I told you before, you know, you might not be uh, a world champion one day, but I do have some things in store for you coming up when we get back to business as usual. So, well, I definitely stay tuned. All right, Paradise Customs exclusive t shirt for the String of Hold Army. You have here String of Hold Army on the front, spin around. You have the championship title on the back. The only exclusive thing. It says Army there instead of Champion. That way each and every person at home can be a part of the Army. And for all you out there in the Stranglehold Army that want one of these shirts, that want to be part of that Stranglehold Army, the low price of just $20, you can have an exclusive Stranglehold Army t-shirt. Yeah, check out the back. That's right. Custom Stranglehold t-shirt just for the Stranglehold Army. $20, you can be, and you can find $20 for the couch cushion. Get yours today. Well, hey everybody, Terry Nelson, Manager of Champions here at the Marietta, Georgia Flashback Games. Notice right here, we have the only eight foot tall gallagher machine known to man. That's one of my pretty players. Of course, uh, I'm not playing right now, so my character is getting killed. Well, let me walk you around. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Mr. Roger Osbold. Hi, right, let me show you my face. <laughs> one of the owners here at Flashback Games. <laughs> Uh, we're doing the whole retail thing here. Uh, we have NES cartridges for sale at competitive prices. We also have the N64 cartridges here for sale as well. I know a few other uh, classic retro systems as well. So right here, all the stand-up arcade games eat. Y'all cool me. Say what's up everybody. Thanks for coming in today. More perennial retro favorites. And in here, folks, we have a retro lounge for all you couch potato gamers like myself. This TV is set up just like our living room back in the 80s and 90s. You have the original NES, the original Super Nintendo, the original N64, and the original Sega Genesis all ready to go right here. You go up and see Mr. Roger. If any game you want for these systems, come out here with your favorite beverage, favorite food. Hey, you know, possibilities are endless. And then here we're set up more of a just VR here. Now this one I'm proud of. It's an electronic pinball machine. There are more than 50 pinball games loaded into this machine. It's awesome. Now of course in here, you can throw uh, your birthday party with 20 of your close friends. Go see Roger and give you competitive pricing. And of course everybody asks me, how much does it cost here at Flashback Games? Well, for the low price of $11, you can come in and play all the games you want from open to close. And you can't beat that deal, folks. You can't beat that anywhere. We are coin free. That's right. Flashback Games is coin free. So, uh, 
We got Momo coming the golf tournament. We got some belts coming out here real soon. Anything you want to add to our discussion tonight? I'm not 100 percent sure, man. <laughs> yeah, I felt like we went a lot longer than 12 minutes. But um, let's see. Coming up, man. Um, want to promote a toy drive or anything? Coming up, absolutely. Uh, I do want to say this real quick. Uh, one of the longtime fans of you know the Georgia independent scene as a whole, not just Stranglehold, not just other promotions. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Sean Eister and his family lost their home to a really huge blaze in Banks County. Now this man is part of a nine-member family. He has all kinds of kids running around. They just lost their house. They lost everything that they own. Sean, if you're watching, I'm still actively pursuing help for you. I do have some other things coming your way as soon as I can get to you again. So, uh, with that being said, we got Thanksgiving and Christmas coming around the corner. If any of y'all feel like donating to a worthy cause, please, 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 those kids. You know, his wife himself, he, he works uh, at a lumber yard, makes, making very little money. If you can find it in your hearts to help this family out, please, it is for a worthy cause. So we'll, uh, you know, we'll call this Operation Santa Claus. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, me, the uh, retired military guys, always Operation something. So Operation Santa Claus from this day forward is in effect. Uh, you can contact me on the Stranglehold Entertainment page. You can contact my partner on the Paradise Customs page. And uh, whatever you're willing to do to support these people, let us know. And... Uh, We'll probably wrap off a couple prizes in the process. I do have some autograph photos I will uh, be presenting next time we get together and do this. You know, as uh, as a raffle. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, look for us uh, here in the future. You know, if you're not uh, already, check out Stranglehold Entertainment and Paradise Customs on Facebook. Stranglehold Championship Wrestling Network, you too. And Stranglehold Championship Wrestling on network on YouTube, which you'll be able to see this podcast. But for now, my friend, I'll let you get back to it. Absolutely, man. It was, it was a pleasure having you, man. It was a pleasure being here. And anything you want to tell the people before we go? I just want to say, um, especially with everything going on in the world today, uh, thank you guys for staying positive out there. The gentleman that, um, that just lost his home, um, stay positive, man. Keep your head up. Absolutely. And I We're promise you, things, things will get back. Um, other than that, uh, love you guys. Thank you for being a part of everything, and thank you for thank you for inviting us into your homes. And just a quick shout out to Flashback Games. Thank y'all as always for being a sponsor, and uh, special shout out to Pete's Coffee. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, the best cup of coffee I ever had. Absolutely. And uh, for that, we're out. Mm -hmm.